Thank you for tuning in to the best parenting show on the internet. Post Daily Dose. Facebook family, a uh, long time no see. This is Christy Saul, the co-founder of the Post Institute and the leader of the Parenting Inner Circle and head parenting coach. Coming at you live after church on Sunday. It's been a while. Uh, it's been a while since I've done an after church uh, coming at you live. It's always my favorite though. I feel the most filled, but um, thank you for the grace you guys have extended me um, in a lot of areas. Um, there's been a lot going on in my family, um, and so my my bandwidth, my emotional bandwidth has been pretty taxed lately, and I find it very important for me to recognize, oh, well, thank you, Mimi. <laughs> hey, Mimi. She said, I look beautiful in blue. <laughs> I, I love you so much. You're one of my most favorite people, and I'm one of your number one fans, Mimi. I hope you and Brian had a good time last night at the music. Um, so anyway, after church and the grace that you guys have been extending me, um, my father um, had a stroke about, well, I guess it's been a couple of months now. And so we've been as a family in a big learning curve about what his needs are and they're ever changing. So it's fascinating, you know, from that brain science perspective, and I'm kind of a junkie about that. Just, um, it's quite fascinating um, how you see uh, something that is very devastating, but then the regeneration and the um, rebuilding of his strengths and his abilities has been so fantastic. Um, and then the other piece is um, he's had to stay um, at a place, a rehab facility for his wellness. Um, you know, for his safety, and so there have been lots of different personalities, and so we've been we've been working on our own our own stuff. You know, sometimes it gets kind of scary, and so and uh, the fears that we've been experiencing as a family, um, and the experiences of all these different personalities around us, it's been intense. So to say the least, it has been intense. So to all of my friends who are in the sandwich generation, uh, where you have children, um, I have a 15 year old and I've got my son, Kevin, who's 26. And so, uh, and then you're also part of the caregiving of your parents as they're aging. I say this, we are the sandwich generation. And right now I am feeling like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich <laughs> on a school bus trip at the end of the day. And you know exactly what that looks like. It's gushy and it's messy and it's kind of warm and goopy. But when you bite into it, it is sweet. And so we are living through this very sweet place in life. And I'm so thankful for God's grace and my family and um, the people who are surrounding us and praying for us. So out of church, though, I want to talk about that because it was awesome. And I noticed it's June. And so we're at the end of June. In fact, this is the last Sunday, which means... Uh, January 1st was six months ago. Six months ago, we were making New, Re New Year's resolutions about all this bang-up stuff we were going to do, how we were going to affect change in our lives, in our families' lives, the things that we wanted. We were claiming our goals. We were claiming the things that we felt in our heart for our greater good and our destination. And so, how are we doing on that? Because, you know, time goes by, and when we're not actively focusing on what it is that we've said we wanted to do, we will slip right back into our old routines and our old habits. And sometimes we just talk about, you know, I just don't have the self-discipline. And so it was awesome today that my pastor was talking about what self-discipline grows from. So it's not, he said, it's not a self-discipline issue. It's a passion issue. And if it's a passion issue, then it's, um, I'm going to have to look at my notes. It's a devotion issue. And if it's a devotion issue, then we have a revelation issue. And so 
in church today, the message was about the revelation of where our power comes from and where our glory goes to. And so if you are struggling with the self-discipline to achieve the things that you claimed in January, then we need to go back and we need to revisit devotion. We need to revisit passion and Obviously, I'm having a hard time with devotion because I have to keep looking at my notes. We have to keep looking back to our passion, our devotion, and our revelation, our understanding. Our understanding is like our why. And so go back to your why to revisit that and then let's get back on track with whatever our goals were. And I'd love to hear if you guys have continued, you know, I know we were getting up and we were journaling every day and we were claiming and stating our goals and we were visualizing our goals and we were talking about more time with our kids and we were talking about how we wanted to be more compassionate and empathetic and patient parents and how we wanted to make a commitment and follow through with self-care and we were going to be committed to taking at least moments throughout the day to quite at our mind and learn how to ride those waves of emotions that we feel too and so I just want to I just want to encourage you guys to go back and revisit revisit January revisit uh, like I, I carry a notebook around this is I think this is probably my second notebook of the year already so here's my notebook I actually carry it with me I'm a big sloppy writer with horrible penmanship so um, those are those are the notes that uh, I keep you know I just carry it around and when I get an epiphany or something then I, you know, I have a place to jot it. Um, so the other thing, though, that came from church, number thing, thing number two, <laughs> you know, um, we can be complainers. We can be critics. It's we're we're living in a society where we walk in and we have an experience, and then we leave the experience and we begin to critique it. And so um, my pastor pointed out that that is actually an anointing when you notice things that aren't quite right but we tend to just leave it at the critique we leave it at the complaint so we just walk around complaining all the time and we don't realize the power in our noticing that and so the charge then becomes not to quit griping I mean you know if that's part of your bent if part of your natural bent is you just happen to notice the things that could be better then great notice that and then either step in and fulfill it because it's your anointing that you noticed it was missing or actively pray actively pray people into the roles that you see in terms of where there is lack or need and so I thought I thought that was freaking brilliant to be honest with you I thought that was one of the most beautiful insights I have ever heard and so when you start noticing the faults of the world or the faults in your family or the faults in your school system, the faults in your church, the faults in the government. Instead of just finding fault and feeling helpless and overwhelmed, step up and volunteer. If you can't step up and volunteer, then pray and pray someone into those positions who can fulfill the loving destiny that you hope for for humanity. And so with that, here we are at the halfway point of this year, and all the best to you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. I see some names popping up. Um, thank you for your comments. Thank you so much, though, for being a part of our Facebook family. It means it means so much, um, and you know it's growing. It's so phenomenal, and so you know Brian and I both take this uh, message that we've been blessed to share, and we thank God for it. And we thank God for you. We thank God for the courage that you show every day in trying to step in love and your courage and growing and learning and understanding and then sharing it with others. So much love to you all. Have a blessed day. Have a beautiful Sunday. I hope you get a chance to enjoy some time with your family. Share some laughs. Take a deep breath. Uh, notice what's really important and what's not. And uh, don't, make the big, don't make little things into big things. You know, love each other. Thank you.